I have some groundbreaking news to share with you all about the ongoing drama between the Sussexes and the House of Windsor. Inside sources reveal that King Charles has taken an extraordinary step by officially removing Prince Harry and his family from their roles as working royals. This unprecedented decision could significantly impact the monarchy. After years of tension due to Harry and Meghan's actions, divisive media statements, and what is perceived as continuous disloyalty toward the institution, it seems that King Charles has reached his limit. I've heard that the tipping point was Harry's upcoming biography, scheduled for release early next year, which reportedly discloses more private family secrets. It appears King Charles decided there is no longer a place for the Sussexes as senior royals and has taken decisive action by officially stripping them of their remaining titles and privileges. Sources indicate this decision was thoroughly considered and made solely by King Charles to assert his authority as monarch. He believed it essential to establish clear boundaries and safeguard the crown after several perceived oversteps by Harry and Meghan. News of the king's unexpected decision is creating quite a stir within royal circles, with numerous aides and former palace staff remarking that decisive action was overdue against the rebellious pair. According to this new ruling, neither Harry nor Meghan will maintain their status as royal highnesses. Additionally, all of their royal patronages and formal roles are being immediately revoked. In a particularly contentious move, Charles has ruled that Archie and Lily will no longer hold official titles or HRH status. They are now regarded as private citizens instead of royal family members. Furthermore, the Sussexes will not receive public funding or taxpayer-supported security measures moving forward. This extraordinary exile not only eliminates all remaining royal titles and designations, but, according to sources, firmly revokes their presence at significant family gatherings. From now on, Harry and Meghan will neither be welcomed nor expected to participate in Christmas celebrations, trooping the color, or any other events involving working royals. This decisive action emphasizes that hybrid roles straddling celebrity and royalty are no longer an option. Unsurprisingly, King Charles's dramatic decision to sever all royal ties has created a global uproar. According to the BBC, this represents one of the most significant upheavals in modern monarchy history. Experts on royalty claim it is among the strictest measures ever imposed by the family. Many believe that while Charles may have cemented his firm leadership as head of the firm, it might irreparably harm his relationship with Harry. According to those close to King Charles, he felt compelled to act because of the events following Megxit. A source revealed that while the king deeply loves his son as monarch, his primary responsibility is upholding a constitutional duty and safeguarding the royal institution for future generations. Continuous disrespect, betrayal, and efforts undermining the firm left him with no other choice. They also mentioned that Charles had repeatedly warned Harry about stopping harmful media campaigns. However, these warnings were ignored. The decision to revoke their titles is driven by the essential need to set boundaries and consequences for unyielding behavior, rather than spite or malice. Regarding the Sussexes, it seems they are extremely upset and embarrassed by Charles's public assertion of authority. Sources indicate that Harry feels deserted by his father, while Meghan views this as an act of persecution from the firm and is prepared for a major confrontation. A friend mentioned that Meghan is determined not to back down and has been constantly strategizing with her influential PR team. It appears the Sussexes are keen to portray this situation as another instance of racism and mistreatment by the unfeeling royals. However, some maintain that Charles merely imposed natural consequences for ongoing disrespect after numerous opportunities were given. Only time will reveal how Harry and Meghan intend to address this recent betrayal and make their response known through the media. It's likely they're privately fuming for revenge at the moment. Meanwhile, King Charles remains focused on his duties at Balmoral Castle despite the ongoing turmoil, with aides preparing for potential counteractions from California. All palace staff have been instructed to maintain strict confidentiality about any additional measures that might be implemented in response to provocations expected after this significant development. Throughout the broader Commonwealth, reactions to Charles's dramatic actions regarding the Sussexes appear mixed. Some nations support decisive measures, while others advise against harming future King Harry's relationships over purely symbolic decisions. Experts in international relations caution that escalating PR disputes could lead to increased tensions moving forward.